Okay, boys and girls, uh, we're back again, and today we're going to talk a little bit about um, the uh, uh, the arrow shields, and then we're going to get into a little bit of the problems that we saw with the uh, the hood and the uh, frunk. So let's start off right here. This is the Model Three um, arrow shield. Um, it's made out of uh, compression molded uh, PET, and uh, it has, you can see here, two metal brackets with uh, with a couple of uh, with a couple of uh, rivets holding everything in place. They went from that to, oops, an injection molded component. This is uh, exactly the same. The only difference here is that now, because this is uh, PP with 15% uh, glass, it's a lot stronger. So they've eliminated the, uh, the, the metal brackets that used to, uh, used to have to hold the, uh, the other aero shield in place. This is a good idea. The cost is probably similar, maybe went down a bit, but, uh, but this, is a better, this is a better design. <clears throat> so first, uh, first news here, uh, good news on uh, the way they've designed from the three to the Y. So first thing I'm gonna do is, as I mentioned before, we have this problem. We keep wondering why, the, uh, why there's this gap and we, We've been trying to make it so that it'll shut and whatnot, but it, it doesn't really do it. So let's, uh, let's have a little investigation. Pop the hood. So <clears throat> what we did was, what we did was we looked at the, uh, we looked at the product and, um, and we got over here to the hinges and uh, we noticed that um, where the hinges uh, were, um, where the hinges were uh, um, uh, supposedly uh, set in the body shop before paint, uh, they've been moved. You can see the uh, witness marks and you can see it on both sides. So that's something first off that we were kind of surprised at. Normally you try not to move these things. Uh, they, you know, they're set there with a fixture. You're, you're pretty sure that things should be, uh, should be uh, done right. Next thing we did was <clears throat> we were wondering why it was we couldn't get this thing to close down. So <clears throat> you'll see here some little um, yellow spots. So the, the true closing area is right around here so that no water gets inside of the frunk. So, and that's good, no problem there. And you can see it comes in contact right up here with this, um, this large piece of, uh, of uh, uh, neoprene or some sort of flexible material. We haven't checked that out yet, but some sort of heat frame and it comes up and close on, closes onto the uh, seals. And that's okay, except that what we found was that <clears throat> this may be touching <clears throat> before, before they, the bumpers are touching here on, uh, on the positive stops. And when we looked at things, we, we don't expect that this, these, coin, these points here, should be touching uh, before it gets to the, to the seal, the bulb seal here. But that is precisely what is happening. So that could give us a bow, if you like, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the hood. If we have a bow in the hood and it's back here, of course, that's going to bend you uh, up, which could mean that when you're trying to push it down, <coughs> um, you're not going to you're not going to connect properly with the latch down here. So, what we're looking at here is a little bit of an investigation. It's hard to say why somebody would have adjusted those uh, those features over there, um, but we do know that if we're touching here, then we've got a little bit of an issue with uh, with closure. So, let's uh, let's now strip this out for right now. <coughs> Oy, caramba! <coughs> Pull this out here and have a look at what's going on inside. So when we got inside, now we're looking over here and we're seeing, we're seeing that the, hint, uh, the, the latch had also been touched. You can see that the, um, that the blue marks here, which are, you, you use those for, for quality, they've been, uh, they're not in line anymore. So that kind of uh, led us to a, a bit of a, a quandary. Uh, we shouldn't really see that kind of thing. Now, as far as strength, I thought maybe one of the screws was loose or something on this latch. This thing is on here rigid. It's, there's nothing going to be moving on that. So <clears throat> I think that somebody on the line was dinking around with the hinges 
and the latch trying to overcome the problem that they may have had with the, uh, with the hood being bowed by the, uh, by the other components that were put in place. It could have been because, again, we, we did have on the, uh, on the driver's side the one broken latch and one latch missing for the, um, for the cowl, and that's what basically is touching is that cowl component. So I think that if everything would have been locked down, the guy who was trying to make the hood work properly, he probably wouldn't have had a, a big issue. It probably would have been just fine, but because it was loose over on the other end, it caused a problem that he couldn't possibly fix or he really even understand. So <clears throat> that's uh, number two on the hit parade. <clears throat> so let's look down here. Now we're looking at these uh, uh, cross car beams that we've got. So we've got one here going from one, uh, one longitudinal to the next, and then we've got these to the shock towers. And, and quite frankly, this is a great idea for, again, the um, <clears throat> small offset uh, crashing. This is, uh, this is gonna keep the car basically stable so it doesn't parallelogram between the, um, between the, uh, the two longitudinals. Everything here <clears throat> is starting to look, um, well, uh, I'm pretty happy about, uh, about, about these kinds of things. Everybody, everybody is trying to get, a, do a good job with, uh, with crash worthiness. Um, the, the strategy they've got here with the, uh, the tusks and, uh, and the way they've set, the, um, uh, set the, uh, the, the suspension system on the both sides and then uh, the, uh, you can see up here the shotgun, or the, yeah, well, shotgun, and the, uh, and the way that uh, the extra st strength materials have been put on both sides to make sure that, uh, that the front of the vehicle doesn't, doesn't cave in. Um, I, I'm pretty, pretty happy uh, with this kind of a design. I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost, but, uh, but from a safety standpoint, looks like they're doing a good job. So anyway, that's, uh, that's it for right now. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. Bye.